So for the general, you have the Three of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Wands. And even like looking at the other cards, there's an energy of confusion, indecision, a lot of waiting. If an opportunity comes your way on some level, I feel like you might want to turn your back to it and rest for a minute and just like have some time to really think about whether or not it's worthwhile. I mean, the Nine of Wands is tired, exhausted. It, he wants to take a break. He wants to rest. Mind you, he has the strength to pull through, which is what he does and may very well be what you're capable of and uh, are doing by the end of December. It could be that you're fantasizing about a different situation where it's a bit easier and things are clearer for you because in the Three of Wands, I feel like you're waiting for something or someone and you don't know when it's going to come around. You're like, when is the obvious choice going to be put in front of me? Because there's this strong vibe of, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Love is somewhat similar. Love, you have the Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Seven of wands. There's struggle and there's conflict and you might be finding yourself territorial or just like fighting with someone because that's what these guys are clearly doing. I mean, this one's protecting children. So maybe if um, maybe that's your situation, maybe you find that you have to protect a child or children that are yours or um, there's a defensive struggle energy here. Now, usually this is a card of perseverance though as well. There's a protective vibe for whatever reason you might feel like you have to protect someone. It's not quite clear who that is because there's no people that are standing out. Um, but with the swords energy, there's mental activity. I mean, you have the hermit here too as the only major, which is a card of, you know, learning, thought, going within. So you might be doing a lot of that in December and that could just be the thing for now. Um, with the Seven of Swords, you might not be trusting people around you. You might be suspicious of just your love life in general. Maybe if you do have a partner, you could be feeling suspicious about them. Or um, there's definite lack of trust here. You might be feeling trapped. I feel like in terms of a partner, you and the other person are not getting along, especially with the Seven of Wands might even be separating again there might be children involved if you're not in a relationship at all to be blunt these aren't the most positive cards i want to see for a promising prospect it could be that the people that you meet you know their personality is just not clicking you don't jive well with them it's like red flags are probably going off on those people that you are coming into contact with. And so you might feel a little bit stuck and uh, anxious because you're not receiving or not getting any opportunities that feel promising. In that regard, with the Seven of Wands, I'm thinking of it more traditionally with the, um, the Rider weight imagery, where again, I think of perseverance. And so it could be that despite the fact that you're running into lemon after lemon in terms of a potential partner, for the singles that you'll persevere and continue to try to find someone who may be a good match. And part of the, the try that again, part of the difficulty can be, you know, maybe you have children and the other person isn't getting along with them or they have a problem with them. And that could be one of the major issues with um, finding a new partner. I'm just seeing that a lot with this card. Then with the overall, we have, as I said, the quiet energy of the Hermit with the Eight of Wands. Now, it could be, maybe you're thinking about reaching out to someone. Maybe you're thinking about going somewhere. Eight of Wands is a card of travel. Now, in this 
this deck, I see it more as a messenger than uh, travel related. Um, maybe out of nowhere, after a period of quiet, of not hearing from someone that maybe you wanted to hear from, because we got the three of wands there, which is waiting, wondering where, where's my stuff? Where's my message? You know, and it could be like end of December, you get your message, you know, the eagle's landing or the bird's landing. And there he is, or there she is, with um, the little note. And that could be coming in after a long period again of wondering and waiting. Maybe not that long, but in the month of December, I would say it'd probably be closer to the very beginning of January, end of December, before you hear something. And you might be a little bit surprised because he's like, what? <laughs> it finally came in, yay. So I definitely have that vibe. All right, one second. All right, so. Let's see, I'm going to do my clarifiers first. What are you waiting for with the Three of Wands? Okay, you're definitely waiting to either get some form of contact from someone. Knight of Pentacles is information usually that comes in. He's a slow-moving source, though, so it could be that someone uh, has been MI. Sorry for the noise. It's I can't really do anything about it, so hopefully you can still hear me. Knight of Pentacles, you know, this could be a work opportunity that you're anticipating or you're looking to hear something about work or money should be coming in and it hasn't come in yet. There's all that with the Knight of Pentacles. All right, what are you so confused about, Seven? There might be a risk you'd like to take with the uh, Fool here, but you're confused as to what the next step is. You don't know. Uh, how do I take, how do I go about this? Um, new endeavor maybe there is an opportunity that does come in or that's supposed to come in and you're waiting to start but no one's ha no one's giving you any clear direction so you're kind of just like hello someone help me and give me some clear advice here what am i supposed to do that's the vibe i get with that card all right so i'm trying to get pissed off by the noise <laughs> For some of you, maybe this does relate to a past, uh, whether it's a past job, past um, any anyone that may be a connection from a few years ago, and this, there could have been a strong bond with that person with strength here. No, I didn't actually, I was kind of thinking of the Nine of Wands, so then I'm going to look at this as clarifiers for the Nine. It's possible that, again, you've been hurt before, which is pretty standard for me for this card. And something is happening in December that is making you feel guarded and making you even reflect on a similar situation that you experienced in the past. Um, however, with the Nine of Wands and Strength, I'd say that you'll be finding the energy to essentially deal with whatever that is. All right, so let's get... Eight of Wands. Oh, and the Eight of Chalices. Honestly, I really feel like you're going to hear from someone that is at a distance from you. Maybe they've stepped away for some time and you were wondering, maybe they like ghosted you and they were an important part of your life and it was unexpected. And so you do finally hear from them. I feel like it's someone who just kind of up and left and you're thinking about them and they do finally come through and send some form of message. Others might be hearing about someone who is leaving a situation. I feel like with this eight of wands that you're, you're receiving the information as opposed to telling anyone else you're leaving, but that could be a possibility as, as well that you're surprising another person with, with this, 
I'm leaving and you might be doing so indirectly. So you're not like talking to them face to face, but you're sending them an email. You're even telling a, a third party to communicate the information or sending them a text, but I don't feel face to face interaction um, in either way uh, for whomever's leaving. Let's do the seven of swords. All right, I think some sort of infidelity truth or uh, has come out in regards to someone. If you're in a brand new relationship and you know cheating may not have been a thing, then it could be that you learned something about someone that you know it enlightened you. It's like, can I trust this person because they've maybe done this and maybe they've been to prison in the past or something like that is making you cautious because you found out um, a great deal about them. There's a lot of light shedding on um some shady behavior or personality. What are you so anxious about? Justice. And this is making me think of those that might be dealing with uh, children in a relationship and you're struggling with the other partner. Maybe you're fighting for custody or something like that and you're anxious as to which way the, um, the system is going to turn. Others of you that don't have that concern might simply be concerned with making the right choice. You know, should I date this guy or should I not? Maybe it feels like a big deal to you um, because maybe you want to be in a relationship and you feel like you got to make a choice in regards to someone. There's definite money involved in this battle between these two people. This could be one small child as well with the page of pentacles. Uh, but I am seeing again tied to finances where you have to defend yourself or struggle against someone when it comes to love. And I can't forget, I got to give you oracle cards. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So we have devotion. Now, it doesn't really tie in whatsoever with um, my other stories, but, you know, I'm actually thinking of the people that are dealing with children, and I feel like you're the one who's uh, like fighting for custody or, again, trying to protect them, and you might find a stronger bond with um, your children that way, for instance. I'm actually reading this as being devoted to yourself because I don't get a strong vibe for a um, promising romantic relationship yet. I feel like there are struggles, there's things coming to light where there's no trust happening here. But with devotion, it's possible that if you're single, you're sticking to it and you're going to keep trying to, you know, find someone who is decent and... If you're struggling with your partner and you're already in a long-term relationship, then most likely there are children involved and your bond with them. Again, I'm, I'm feeling that's what this relates to, in all honesty. So, um, oh. One more. There we go. And for some of you, I guess, with devotion and true love, there's a chance that there is going to be an interesting romantic partner this month after all. It could be, again, a lot of baggage that you're carrying that maybe is the wall to this kind of breaking out in December because there's a lot of weird energy. There's a lot of anxiety and struggle. Maybe that's all internal, but um, there's an opportunity here for a romantic partner uh, for those that are single, I feel. So, you know, we have a victorious energy We've got uh, a lot of wands, meaning, you know, there's passion, there's enthusiasm. Startups can be happening. This air of feeling successful and accomplished are all part of this week. So that's very nice to see. Now, you could be having a special event. It is the holidays, so maybe that's what this is. This could represent celebrations at home. If you're hosting, for instance, or going to someone else's house, a party of some kind is tied to a celebration. We got the magician, so it does kind of line up with you being the person who is hosting. And, you know, maybe you, you've hired a caterer, you've uh, vamped up the apartment or house, and you're waiting for people to arrive. That could be a, a big thing for you. 
on the weekend and in terms of that that would go very well now others of you this is about putting money towards a new home perhaps you're buying during this time of the year with the ace of pentacles here this is money you could be giving this money out that's definitely possible it could be that because of a promotion or because of a job opportunity um or a special project that is bringing in extra money, you're taking measures to either upgrade or again, buy a new home or apartment with the Four of Wands and the Magician here. This definitely points to some form of new opportunity just in general that leads to financial success or more money uh, for you. You could be feeling very capable and successful as a person overall, especially in your career, whatever your focus might be. Uh, I like this energy so very much. Um, some of you might be getting in terms of gifts, because it is that time, you could be getting exactly what you wanted. And this is you being overjoyed at the object that you were hoping you'd get. <laughs> That's definitely possible. Uh, material gain is representing itself here. With the other deck, as I said, Knight of Wands and Six of Wands. Victor uh, vi ah, I can't speak. Victory. Success. Name of the game this week. You've got passion and energy with the Knight of Wands. Some of you might be getting uh, a message, you know, from a distance or someone's just coming out of the, out of the blue to communicate with you or come after you. Maybe they have an offer for you. They want you to come with them somewhere. And it's quite an adventure with Knight of Wands. They usually do stuff at the spur of the moment. I like this energy. It's very fun. It's flirtatious. It's uh, sexy and exciting. So all that energy is here for you for this week and as i've already said a million times with the six of wands recognition acclaim success you know whatever it is that you're working on you're getting positive feedback people are recognizing you they want to work with you you're getting opportunities you've got a lot of drive and passion that's coming up as a result all right so what is this uh, ace of pentacles this is another case where I don't almost want to uh, clarify because I like the cards as they are. Just put them into focus. All right, so that's definitely a financial opportunity. We have the Knight of Pentacles for the Ace of Pentacles. So someone's coming in and giving you a substantial offer here that will open up doors and most likely lead towards a, um, a contract signing or just um, an increased amount of wealth for you. You're very happy with this opportunity, I feel. All right, let's see. Six of Wands. Ooh, Knight of Cups. So aside from the, the work success that is like screaming at me, there's also an emotional connection that's potentially happening or suitors. You know, maybe you attracting a lot of attention from a Knight of Wands and a Knight of Cups, they all want to take you out. They're like looking at you like you're, I you're their ideal partner and uh, you get a lot of attention, I feel. For some of you, you might be waiting for an offer, whether it's um, for a date or uh, work, but I do feel like in this case, it might be some form of date or romantic connection and you're receiving it and you're feeling uh, over the moon, <laughs> happy over it, so. All right, and five of wands is there. I don't say I don't see that as major conflict as I normally might. Um, even in that case, I don't usually see it as major, but I see it as again vying for attention. People might be fighting over you, fighting over to work with you or be a part of your team. Or again, on a, in a romantic sense, you got a lot of people saying, "Can I take you out?" No, don't be with him. Don't be with her. Um, I'm better for you. I feel like people are really trying to fight for your affection and attention just overall. So I want to leave it at that because I like the cards as they are. And I think it's going to be a good week for you, which is nice to see. So do take care. And until the next readings, thank you for watching as always. Bye.